Hey guys, took a trip to the beach recently and so now working on a few travel films that we shot on an iPhone. But in the meantime, wanted to show some of the footage and talk about using Filmic Pro Log and LUTs. If you're new to our channel, we're all about sharing mobile filmmaking tools, tips, and techniques for indie filmmakers, YouTube creators, mobile journalists, and really anyone who wants to create better video using their smartphone. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on any of our future videos. Before we take a look at the footage, I wanted to show you the mobile filmmaking gear I took to the beach. A gimbal, some ND filters, a microphone, a battery, and a couple tabletop tripods with a mount. But in the end, I mainly only used two items. My iPhone and an ND filter. The Polar Pro Iris mobile filter system has quickly become one of my favorite systems to use for lightweight, on-the-go shooting. This was all shot 24P 4K Filmic Pro Log using the cinematographer's kit. If you don't know what the cinematographer's kit is, it's the additional upgrade in Filmic Pro to allow you to shoot log and flat color profiles. Highly recommend it if you want to shoot more cinematic looking footage. Being at the beach, I shot in a bunch of bright sunny conditions. Tough for any camera, let alone a smartphone. But overall, pretty happy with what I captured. Here's the same footage color corrected using Adobe Premiere Pro and our LUT packs. LUT packs were designed for Filmic Pro log and flat footage. There are lots of ways to color correct. You don't have to use Premiere Pro. You can use LumaFusion. You can use Final Cut Pro 10. In the end, you can definitely get a similar result. And here's the graded footage compared to the log. You can really see the difference in what you capture versus how you grade it down. And I think it shows that the iPhone is capturing a little more dynamic range than you might think. In particular, these shots are pretty dramatic between the log and the graded. Now, there are definitely limitations to the sensor, but all things considered, I mean, this is a smartphone after all. This looks pretty good. So how did we do this? Used Adobe Premiere Pro, as I mentioned earlier, and used our LUTs was the main thing we did. We're gonna go through this very quickly here, not a deep dive necessarily. So we imported the LUTs, then go through and adjust the various image controls. Exposure, contrast, saturation, that kind of thing. You can also see that you can adjust the slider for the intensity, which is nice. That's one thing you can do in LumaFusion as well, and in Final Cut Pro 10. You can adjust the strength or the intensity of the LUT. Using Lumetri Color, though, you can do a lot. You can also add vignettes, which I did on this shot. And then I also added a second instance of Lumetri Color to do a power window. Power window comes from traditional color correction like using DaVinci Resolve. Basically, I'm drawing a mask and brightening an area of the frame. I feather the mask so it blends well with the image, but then that section where I raised up the exposure pops a little more. Just gives the image a little more depth. You can do this to brighten stuff or darken it, and you can draw a custom mask with any shape you want. Now the next shots here, I'm speeding through this because I did the same thing on these shots as I did on the original. Chose a LUT, adjusted the different parameters, customized it to my liking, and then went to the next shot. Once you've been doing this a while, you get the hang of it. Remember, adding a LUT is not gonna look perfect right off the bat. It's a starting point. It helps you correct what is otherwise hard to correct on your own. That being log in particular, but even flat. So it corrects that up to a normal Rec. 709 look, and then you go in and finesse it to however you want it to look. I really enjoy experimenting with LUTs, trying different ones that fit the story or fit the mood of the story you're trying to tell. The best thing about using LUTs is you don't have to be an experienced colorist to get some pretty good looks. The LUTs are created for you, 
then you customize them. This footage was all shot handheld, and so this is one area where using Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro 10 is an advantage over LumaFusion. You currently can't do this in LumaFusion, and that is add stabilization. We're using Warp Stabilizer to make this handheld motion go away, more or less. Now, this doesn't work on all shots. It has to be pretty steady, but in this case, it works really well. And in particular, when I select no motion, now it's like this was shot on a tripod. So here's the final look. Filmic Pro Log, color graded with our LUT packs, and then stabilized, all using Adobe Premiere Pro. Again, you could do this in Final Cut Pro 10, or you could do this in LumaFusion without the stabilization. I really think that travel filmmaking really lends itself to using mobile devices. It's so nice to have such a lightweight setup that can shoot 4K and get such amazing results. Not to mention being inconspicuous. You're able to go in places where bigger cameras would get you kicked out. For more information on our LUT packs and other smartphone filmmaking gear and accessories, check us out at ifilmmakers.tv. Thanks for watching and we'll see you the next one.